Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack, that's a time when we take a little break from our hectic work day to chat about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today is Kern Salandi, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome, Kern. Hi, hi, everybody. So, Kern, I'm so happy you could join us today. Please tell me a little bit about yourself, how you got started in doing art, and uh, what motivates you, and what type of art you do. All right. Um, so, what... Um... What got me into art, I would say um, I've been drawing since I was like probably five years old or so, somewhere yes. in primary school. Yes. I started drawing because um my best friend in school is drawing, so I just did everything that he did. Okay. Um, I don't know if, if, I have no idea if he still draws, but I haven't seen him in years, but um, yes. I've always had an interest in it, and comic books in particular. Yes. So comics and cartoons have always been like the number one influence. For me especially like at that age it was kind of um it was just easy for me to lose myself in it and kind of come up with my own ideas and stuff like that so I was, i've been doing that for like a very long time right and then so, um mm -hmm. well your recent work is it's all uh comic type characters yeah um that, and i think that's just from the, the the influence i've had from since I was young. So right. it's always been a medium to me that kind of spoke very clearly to me. Yes. And it's just easy for me to, um, get my, to get as comfortable as I could in that zone. So it just, <laughs> it's just fun. Like when I draw, it's usually an escape and it just, it's, it's like me just being as happy as possible. It's like, right. it just kind of brings out the best in me. So I just kind of let myself go and let, let my hands do all the work. Well, tell us a little bit about your animation, because that's using your skill to um, draw these char characters. Mm -hmm. So um, you said animation. Well, um, my I have a company with some friends called Liquid Matter Studios. Um, we do animation and we also do um, art and comic art on each side. Yes. We have a couple of projects that we are working on. Um, currently, we can't speak about some of the animation projects that we are working on, okay. but we do have a passion project of ours called Jumbie Hill that's been in production for the longest while. Um, it's just, uh, it's one of those things that is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money yes. for, um, for it to be exactly what we want it to be. So until Jumbie Hill can happen, um, we're like we're not going to compromise on um, quality or anything about it because we have a vision for it and we want it to be exactly that. So oh, okay. we'll kind of taking our time with the talent, making sure that it comes out the way we want. All right. Well, good luck with this project. Now tell me about your first art exhibition. Right. Um, that was a very, that has been the focal point of the past probably month because I did not want to enter. I vehemently protested that I did not want to enter to um, a colleague of mine from, from work and he kept pestering me about it. Um, Michael Smith, he kept saying to, to, to try it. And I was like, no. <laughs> and eventually um, I kind of realized that I was making up, I was trying to find an excuse. Right. And then the last day of the competition, uh, I didn't see a deadline time. I just saw that the, there was a deadline date. And, yeah. and in my mind, I was like, then it probably means midnight is the deadline. Mm -hmm. And I asked my girlfriend, Danny, I was like, should I? even enter like I just wanted to see like if it sounded crazy like it sounded crazy in my head I wanted to see if it sounded crazy outside of just me yes and she's like um how long will, will it take you and I was like a couple hours also you actually at like, the last minute you created work yeah on the last day because I'm, I'm accustomed with my deadlines because I, I work in the public affairs department of the defense force so mm -hmm. it was like I'm accustomed with with pressure and with deadlines because right. that's just the nature of the job so when that happened and uh, when I finally decided to uh, do it which was like probably two o'clock I made up my mind I said okay I'm gonna do it um I came up with the concept um I had the concept was always has been in my head for years just that mm -hmm. I always try to bring it up but just nobody really took it on at all so, so show then, us um, you have it there on your yeah, yes, 
Yes, I do. Um, it's let me... HOS DNH. And what, what is it called? All right, this is called Sisters in Arm. Sisters right, in so, Arm. Um, oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Beautiful. Right. And um, yeah, so this was me taking the time at, uh, was close to, I think I came up with the, well, I had a concept, but I said for a while, it was just um, nobody wanted to really move forward with it. And then when this came up, it was the perfect time to try out the, the idea. And the concept was actually a bit different, but I decided to change it up a little bit. And um, so, so it's like, digital art? Yeah, so I painted. Yeah, it's um so it's drawn so the line work everything was done on my uh, tablet. Okay. And I did so I did the line work first, I did the undercolor. Yes. And then I started to paint on top of it. Oh. So every stroke, every part of this is completely me. It's like one hundred percent me. Okay. So it's um yeah. And Beautiful. um I did this it probably within it was from three o'clock to about half past nine so like three in the afternoon so about 9 30 in the night wow um, street like uh, the only time i took a break was just to probably get like a drink of water and a snack and then i came right back at it so i okay. just thank you done, yeah. yes yes beautiful yeah. piece of work so can we see some um, some other artwork from you let's see one or two so, um, more pieces let me see i have some here Ready? Um, so I also did um, one of the art projects I did last year was called um, Bartuba. One of the people that I'm influenced by is a guy named Chris Samney. He's an American comic artist. Okay. And, um, right, so he's, he's, just, he's one of the many influences, but there was a project called, um, there's a project called Inktober, but he did his own version of it called Bartuba, which is like you draw Batman themed images um, yes. based on, on um, like these kind of, um, keywords like these pr prompt words they give you like prompt words and then you have to draw anything based on that word that okay is so let's see one like, example yeah. so one of the one example is this i did this one is um the keyword for this one was hearth um h-e-a-r-t-h -E and um i drew and uh, what a hearth is like a fireplace yes so um what i did was draw Catwoman in front of a fireplace starting her, um, her cat. Okay. So, um, I, I did this one um, as the prompt for day eight. Um, that's one I did. Um, the other one I did, this one is for day 21. This one is um, loss. So what the image basically is showing you is, um, is Batman tears um, form this, this symbol and the tears go down to form his younger self, Bruce Wayne. Oh. And Bruce Wayne's tears go down and uh, the blood stains on his hands after he, he was cradling his parents. And then the tears continue to flow down and they form the outline of his parents' bodies. Body because oh. we all know the story yeah. of, you know, of Batman and how he came to be. So like, this is just my um, depiction of it through the right, word right. lots. So this is the, the, the idea behind it, yeah. So very interesting um, yeah. digital art. And where can mm -hmm. people see more of your work? Um, they can find me on Instagram. Instagram is where um, I tend to do, um, I, I post as often as I can there. Um, yes. So on Instagram, I'm at Kronos, C-R-O-N-A-U-S. Okay, and I and, put um, in the video mm -hmm. here, Kronos. Okay, perfect. And I'm um, on Facebook. Um, anybody can reach me at Kern Salandi. Just my name. Okay, um, as boy as possible. I think that one is facebook.com slash Kronos also. C-R-O-N-A-U-S. So, All right. Yeah. Well, thank I'm, you I'm, I'm not so much. To find. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. You're the first no um, digital artist that I've interviewed. So I'm oh, very cool. pleased to see your work. And it's such detailed mm. work um, Quite Thank impressed you. with your your, um, your artwork and keep up the good Thank work and, and press on with your projects. They sound very interesting. Thank you. And um, mm. with the viewers, again, check out uh, Kern's work at uh, Kronos on Instagram mm. and my own website, jennylynnjames.pixels.com. You can see all my paintings there. 
And uh, please remember to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and share with friends. Also, you can check out uh, my Instagram and Facebook pages, Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. So hope to see you again tomorrow for Art Snack when we meet with another very interesting artist. Bye for now.